I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 287 brought to you by Drobo. It looks like those of us deciding to sit on the sidelines of the high-def format wars made the right decision. Except that those of you who chose Blu-ray made the right decision too. I skipped over the Warner Brothers moving exclusively to Blu-ray story on the last brief because I figure if a tech story gets covered on NPR, the news is sufficiently spread. Toshiba and the HD DVD group issued a couple of the saddest press releases I've ever read. The North American HD DVD promotion group, now Hodpug, canceled their planned presentation at CES, saying they are evaluating next steps. Toshiba's release said they are quite surprised by Warner Brothers' decision to abandon HD DVD in favor of Blu-ray, despite the fact that there are various contracts in place. Place. While I'm happy we might be a bit closer to a single standard, I kind of wish there was a way we could give Toshiba a hug. It sounds like they need it. I tried a USB missile launcher back when the first model came out and I didn't have a great experience with it. Brando keeps improving it and this year's edition adds a webcam and operability over MSN. If you want to be attacked over the internet, the USB MSN missile launcher is one way to go. Or you could just start a podcast. If you're interested in the last CES keynote from Bill Gates, head over to crunchgear.com. They'll be live blogging the whole thing and they keep touting a fancy secret live blogging tool, so it should be lots of fun. If your interest was piqued by earlier coverage of Bug Labs modular gadgets, you might be stoked to learn that they're offering components with special pricing for early adopters. The Bug Base is $300, the touchscreen is $100, GPS is $80, the digital camera is $70, and the accelerometer motion detector unit is $50. Bug also announced a new module that adds a variety of inputs and outputs to the DIY gadget. If you've been around the brief for very long, you know I have a warm, mushy spot in my heart for the Goonies. This isn't exactly as much news from my geek side, it's more news from my nerd side, but hopefully you'll indulge my little oh my goodness moment of excitement. There are official Goonies action figures. You can get Sloth, Data, my favorite, Mouth, which means you're also getting a Corey Feldman action figure, Chunk, and Mike. Every time I wear a Goonies t-shirt, I get email asking what Goonies are. It's one of my all-time favorite movies from the 80s, and if you haven't seen it, you've missed one of the best kid adventures ever imagined. The action figures are available from Urban Outfitters and my sister works for Urban's parent company so I get a family discount. My favorite new gadget announced at CES so far is simply called Video Transfer from Pinnacle. It provides a simple bridge between a video source and a digital player. You can plug it into a TiVo, camcorder, a cable box, or a game console, the list is endless really, and Video Transfer will encode the video in H.264 with a resolution up to 720 by 480 and store it on your iPod, iPhone, or other portable. You can entirely skip the PC. The next several days revolve around CES and Macworld. You might guess which I favor, but my goal is to lose sleep and drink coffee to bring you the best of the best gadget news over the next three weeks. Of course, I reserve the right to crap out if I get overwhelmed. We'll be headed to Vegas Tuesday, and I'm trying to schedule a casual late night meetup. Information about that and the Macworld meetup is being hammered out in the forum at gptvtalk.com. I'm really excited to be a part of Drobo's presentation immediately after the Steve Jobs keynote. If you're on the fence about getting a Drobo and you'll be at Macworld, stop by the presentation. It's at noon, after the keynote, on the West Stage in the Developer Pavilion. If you're not on the fence, go ahead and use promo code Cali, C-A-L-I, to save $50 on a Drobo at drobostore.com. I'm Cali Lewis, and the next two weeks are gonna be fun. Follow me on Twitter to keep up with all that's happening. Twitter.com slash Cali Lewis. You might be stoked to learn that they're offering components with special pricing for early adopters. <laughs> What's going on with me? <laughs> My warm, bushy spot, I need to get checked out. <laughs>